Agreement kicks off car law debate that was nearly passed until Germany hit the brakes just before law's final ratification via footage. By Jean Kosiazek AFP Press Play to listen to this article voiced by Artificial Intelligence. Regarding the future of the internal combustion engine, Germany has again drawn its own path. The European Commission and German Ministry of Transport announced on Saturday morning an agreement committing the EU administrator to find a legal way to allow sale of new motor cars that run only on synthetic e-fuels. Zero emission vehicles only from 2035. We have found an agreement with Germany on use of e-fuels in cars in the future, Commission's Green Deal Chief Franz Timmermans said on Twitter. We will work now to have the CO2 standards for cars regulation adopted as soon as possible. The deal, along with Germany's small allied club, kicks off debate over nearly agreed-upon car law until a law that's centerpiece of EU's green agenda hits breaks a few days before its official final approval. Timmermans said Commission will rapidly follow through legislative steps, turn a non-binding appendix to law, originally introduced at insistence of Europe's automaker giant Germany, into a concrete workaround that allows new vehicles operate on e-system. Fuels that emit some CO2 will be sold after 2035. As first step, Commission agreed to create a new category of e-fuel-only vehicles in the existing Euro 6 automotive rulebook and then integrate this classification into controversial CO2 standards legislation, which gradually mandates 2035 release date for sales. New internal combustion engine vehicles Timmermans cabinet chief Diedrich Samson, seen by Politico, says commission will reopen text of motor ban law if terms of final deal manage to stop EU lawmakers from introducing a technical supplement that will make room for e-dash fuels as well as agreed upon CO2 standards. The reopening of proposed text of the law is a move fundamentally opposed by European Parliament and green-minded countries. The crux of dispute was that Germany demanded binding legal language that would allow Commission find a way meet Berlin's demands, even if European Parliament or courts acted block any amendments or legislative additions. 2035 Zero Emissions Legislation Includes cars and minibuses in statement, Samsung promised that the Commission will publish full e-fuel proposal this fall as a so-called mandated law. In practice, this means that original 2035 law will pass at first, giving the European Commission a critical win, but this will set off a future fight over technical additions needed to please Berlin. The law that 100% of cars sold after 2035 should be zero emissions will be voted unchanged next Tuesday, said Pascal Canfin, a French liberal lawmaker who led the dossier in Parliament. Parliament will decide in due course on the Commission's future proposals on e-fuels. Engine Endgame The agreement means energy ministers can sign the original 2035 proposal at a meeting on Tuesday, provided Berlin now has assurances that their demands will be met. EU ambassadors will review the bilateral agreement between Brussels and Berlin on Monday, an EU diplomat said. The deal covers Germany's 10-year backlash on EU automotive emissions rulemaking. In 2013, then-Chancellor Angela Merkel intervened late to dilute previous iterations of car emission standards legislation, securing critical fine-tuning for the country's cumbersome automotive industry. The deal means Germany effectively withdraws last-minute opposition to the law to ban automobile engines Sean Gallup. Since the Volkswagen Dieselgate scandal, most automakers have shifted their investments to electric vehicles, but some industry interests, notably high-end automakers like Porsche and Germany's network of internal combustion engine parts manufacturers, have sought to free traditional gas junkies from the clutches of a car. De facto EU sales ban Finding a final workaround regarding e-fuels in the 2035 legislation will still take several months, given that technical standards have yet to be clarified, laying out a robust and leak-proof system for selling petrol-only cars. Synthetic alternatives to gasoline and diesel, according to Samsung's statement. The timeline is already clear from Berlin's point of view. We want process to be completed by autumn of 2024, said German Ministry of Transport, led by country's Free Democratic Party. The FDP, the youngest member of Germany's three-way governing coalition, had sought fixed legal language to provide a loophole for e-fuels, which could theoretically be CO2 neutral but do not normally comply with emissions legislation because they still comply. Exhaust pipe emits pollutants. With FDP's popularity plummeting, the car policy debate with Brussels has been a popular topic of conversation in German media in recent weeks.
One survey reports that 67% of respondents are against motor ban legislation. Ahead of national elections in late 2025, FDP is counting on driver-friendly policies such as e-fuels, new road construction initiatives and curbing the enforcement of national highway speed limit to raise its profile. Market watchers do not expect e-fuels offer much as a mass market alternative to electric vehicles, as they are costly produce and are not available in commercial volumes today. A study by the Potsdam Institute for Climate Research reports that even if all global e-fuel production were allocated to German consumers, output would meet only one-tenth of national demand in the aerospace, marine and chemical industries by 2035. E-fuels are an expensive and largely inefficient diversion from the conversion to electricity that Europe's automakers are facing, said Julia Poliskanova of Green Group Transport and Environment. Automobile policy, although not on official agenda, issue dominated discussions on sidelines of this week's summit of EU leaders in Brussels. An agreement between Brussels and Berlin was made only at 9 p.m. On Friday, hours after the leaders left the EU capital, before it was officially announced on social media early Saturday. The road is open, said German Transport Minister Volker Wissing when announcing the deal. By keeping key options open for climate-neutral and affordable mobility, we seize opportunities for Europe. The deal means it has effectively withdrawn last-minute opposition to Germany's car engine ban law, cracking down on a blocking minority of Italy, Poland, Bulgaria and Czech Republic, which have barricaded the final ratification of deal by ministers. October between three EU institutions It remains unclear whether Italy's attempts to find a separate workaround for biofuels personally promoted by Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney at the summit, were also successful. However, without the support of Berlin, there is no way Rome could circumvent the law. German Transport Minister Volker Wissing Maya hit its responses to the Commission working on a bespoke fix for legislation, otherwise agreed upon for its largest member state were generally negative, with many arguing that the e-fuel issue was a diversion. The introduction of e-fuels does not mean a significant change for the transition to electric cars, said Ferdinand Dudenhofer, professor at the Center for Automotive Research in Duisburg. He said Commission's deal had increased new investment uncertainties that were undermining the bloc's efforts to catch up with China, world's leading electric vehicle maker. Still, most are happy that the internal combustion engine lineup is over for now. Supporting the original 2035 agreement without reference to e-fuels, German Environment Minister Steffi Lemke said it's good that this impasse is over. Anything else would have seriously damaged both confidence in European procedures and Germany's credibility within Europe.